Racism is bad. That's the story. You've been fed for a, a long time. So long, in fact, it's become part of daily life. That's the story you've heard many tell you in the past. Both people on the left and even on the right condemn racism as a barbaric practice, something that doesn't belong in our 21st century world. I say that's wrong. The idea that racism is old and bad is wrong. Racism is actually old and good. You see, the world runs on one principal concept. If it's new, it's bad, especially if the liberals say it is. Now, some might say racism is bad because the government told them. I say, it's your duty as an American citizen to rebel against every type of authority at every possible moment, no exceptions. Now, liberals might say humanity being united and working for the future should be our ultimate goal. That is wrong. One study from 2019 showed that human unification was a bad idea because it would likely lead to more race mixing in liberals, and race mixed liberals are more likely to commit terrorist activities. Well, what about the inevitable end of the planet? Wouldn't it be better if everyone could pitch in and save it? That's not true. It's been shown that black people, on average, are not as smart as white people. Why should I have to carry dead weight? And while on the topic, the earth isn't dying, because God will save us. Speaking of God, did you know the Bible actually advocates racism? In Genesis 4.20, it states that the different colors of man is my test. Bring your kind up and push others down, for my plan is for the purest and pure wood to lead the world. This section proves God himself supports the idea of the white ethnostate, a nation composed entirely of whites. Racism has also been a good way to push out foreign entities from lands and to have your people inhabit those places. This is most specifically seen in historic military conquests throughout world history. Racism can even be profitable for people as having many different ethnostates for each race who all hate. Each other means more chances for bloodier and bigger wars, which means companies can profit greatly from selling guns, ammunition, and other wartime products for military and civilian use. This money can then go to the people, because as we all know, companies like sharing their profits with their people and will never attempt to keep it for themselves. This is supported by a study from the University of American Research in Minnesota. Their study, Study of Corporations and Worker Financial Distribution, in America states, the company and the higher-ups have consistently proven themselves to be generous and distributing healthy amounts of profit through the company from boss to janitor. So, why does this lingering stigma around being racist exist? One reason, liberal lies. It should be known that liberals have been behind many world atrocities in the past. The rise of Hitler was due in part by the liberals hoping to tear down the democratic ideals of Great Britain. 9-11 was a liberal conspiracy to weaken America. Simply put, the left is out of control, and they have time and time again proven themselves to be monsters. I call for the oppressed groups of whites, Nazis, gammers to all rise up against the liberal lies and Democrat-ruled society be racist and be strong. I'm Dennis Prager.